in this video back to working on the rx8 and we're working on a cooling system well the start of it enjoy should i hope this bonnet clears i think we're good I've started removing some of the wiring loom up through here. Um, didn't get very far. This whole front bumper needs to come off to get to wiring behind the headlights and whatnot. And I'm not doing that now. So while I've got this exposed though, I'm thinking of running my water reservoir thing there. In fact, they have this plastic one that sits off the front there, actually this one here. And it's quite unsightly. So I'm going to build one up in here um, and just have a filler up here. Another reason for doing that is if I have the pump sitting up, say here somewhere, I want the filler point to be higher than anything else in the cooling system, including this. So having that sitting there, having the filler up, up here, say up around here somewhere, it should it should do the trick fine it should cause me less grief anyway i'm going to quickly mock up some cardboard thing and get a rough shape of it and i'll show you then it'll be a little bit more clearer all right something like that this is um just a quick mock-up i'm not any good at arts and crafts it is quite large but if you have a look down in there the container itself isn't actually going to be that big it will probably be I don't know, a strip like that, and it'll come up on an angle just to clear that inner wheel well, um, which should be good. Um, this part here, it's only cut short just because I couldn't get around these wires, but uh, more than likely I will um, extend these so it actually tucks in nice with this um, radiator support panel, and same with here too. The only part I'm not the biggest fan of is this corner here. It's just big and bulky and square, but... It's function over form, I guess. It's nothing really to worry about as long as it works. I do have a radiator cap coming. I've ordered that for Alien Speed Parts, so I should get that tomorrow. So I've left this just a little bit low. I don't know whether to put the cap here or a piece of pipe out here. Don't know. We'll figure that out later on. So also with this coming down here, I'm thinking of actually just um, making it work. I've got a bracket for this coming too, by the way. Um, mounting this to the side of this, um, something like that. So depending on how full this is, this should be the highest part of the whole cooling system, which should be okay. And that'll be good too. If I have that, have that sitting there like that, I can just run my line straight down to this one where is it? Yep, right there, that rusty thing. Just run a line straight up into this, and I'll just tuck the lines across here. Probably have a bracket out here somewhere holding the two lines, and then just straight up, over, down, and in. So I will leave this for tonight, and I'll probably start looking at it tomorrow, but yeah, I think I've got some aluminium over there somewhere. Should, should end up all right. So it's the next day on this and what I'm going to do now is I do need to get this wiring out of here at least just this bit so I can actually make my template come all the way up to this edge here. Um, I was going to cut this but nope. I'm going to take the whole front bumper off now and disconnect it properly. Not really. Anyway, uh, so I've got that, and today this arrived from Alien Speed Parts, so there's my new radiator cap, filler thing, slash whatever, world on thing. That will sit something like that, and in my mind, it works. Got half the loom pulled back now. It's, yeah, I've labeled a few bits and pieces. So this is all cleared out through here now, and I'm just having a look at this. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut this out of aluminium now. I'm not 
actually going to block this up right now. I'll make this part first and see how it looks. Um, as you can see here, there's a hook for my um, bonnet stay. May want to keep that, but I'll build that first and we'll just go from there. So we're just taking this template here and cut the aluminium piece I need. What I will do here is put a line across here somewhere and I'll actually put a relief cut there and just fold it 90. And then we'll sit in the car and see how it looks and then um, start building the container, I guess, on the back of it. So this is where I'm up to now. I must admit I'm not in love with it, but it will work. Um, so this is just the outer shell and I do, I somehow I need to build the bits and pieces underneath to, to make that a compartment. And the idea for the water pump is to sit it down here like so. Man, it's dark in here. Um, sit it down there like that and then that will be sitting lower than my water level so it should be all good to prime this and that is going to fill up all this last bit of uh, real estate right here and then it's going to be a pretty full-on engine bay but oh it is what it is um as for my my cap thing here i'm probably just going to weld it off the back like so otherwise if i have it on this this is on an angle going down it's going to look ugly so have it like this and i'll just run the overflow down and out in the wheel arch so i'll keep on getting on so we're almost there no we're not still quite a, quite a bit to go we've got to do all the insides but so far it is it's filling up pretty good it follows that line down there not too bad just banked off there banked off on the back so what i have to do now is get my line uh, welded into there and then i've got to fill it uh, figure out this cap i was saying before about putting it here but that's going to look dumb i need to try and get it level here somewhere i might just put a little wedge in there not 100 percent sure yet and then i just hope the bonnet closes down on it so i'll keep on moving and then um hopefully i'll square this away pretty shortly all right so got some um, inside pieces in there now um, i'm gonna leave the bottom open for now until i weld the radiator cap on the top and i've got a, a one of those to weld on there um i'll fully weld all of this probably tomorrow now and then at the end i'll just close this off make some mounting brackets paint it black and call it done So I've got that welded on now. Hopefully it will sit level in the car. And I've got that one there too. So I'm probably going to leave it at this point tonight. It's getting pretty late. And I am actually waiting for the bracket for that. So I can try and attach it to the side of this. But so, all set and done. Still looks a bit weird. But, yeah, as you can see, that line there is going to come out and run across to there. And this here is most definitely going to hit the bonnet. But we'll find that out tomorrow, maybe. Well, it's been a couple of days, but finally this has arrived. This is the mounting bracket for the pump. Uh, I was going to try and make something, but this is only like 60 bucks, so... Silly not to. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and mount this in there now somehow and 
yeah, go from there. Sweet, all done now. That didn't take me too long. And it's quite cool too, it's all inside a rubber, I don't know what you want to call that, rubber ring. So I guess it takes all the vibrations out of it. But no, that's awesome. I must admit I did need these, but that's all good. I'm going to carry on now that tank. I need to shorten it up a little bit. I was thinking about it and having it so high is a little bit dumb. I do have room to bring it down, maybe 10, 15 mil. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Fully weld it out. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to mount this to that. All right. So I've gone and cut the bottom piece now. This one is fit in there, something like that. So what I'm going to do now is tack that in and just fully weld all of this. It's going to take a little while, but it is what it is, eh? She's not the prettiest, but it will do. Just got a little bit hot and got away from me a little bit there. But that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go through and fully weld all of this up now. I'm not gonna put you through that pain, so I'll see you when I finish. Okay, she's fully welded up now. Um, it's very, very hot. Some of it was a dog to get to. You can actually see up that line there where it's creasing over ever so slightly. It's pulled from my weld on the inside. But, um, Man, that would do. So I'm gonna wait for this to cool down. Then I'm gonna throw some water in it, put my finger over that hole and see if I've got a massive amount of water pissing out of it. Hopefully it's all right. And if it is, then I need to put this back in the car. Then I need to figure out how I'm gonna mount it in there and how I'm gonna mount the water pump to over here. Yeah. Right, so it's all cooled off now. I'm just trying to figure out a way to Mount this on the side there, something like that. Um, all I can come up with is to put a bit of six mil flat here. There's two points there, weld a piece in here. Uh, but before I weld, I just drill and tap a hole and I'll make another little tab for here. Same thing, drill and tap a hole and then lock tight some stainless thread in there and then slide that bit over and put um, a spring washer and a nylock in there. That should work all right. And then after that, I'm gonna put a mount here and then probably a little mount off the top here, which will go to the to the inside panel of the car and I'll just ribbon up those in. But yeah, hopefully this will work. All right, got it all mounted. I've said it before, I'm not crazy, crazy in love with this, but it will work. Um, just got some temporary bolts holding that in there at the moment. So I've just welded these in, just to give me a bit of thread. But it's sitting there all good, it's nice and solid. Um, still clears the blow-off valve, which is good. And hopefully, well, when this is full, up to about here somewhere, it's going to be above the pump. So that should help with priming that. But, yeah, I don't know. Not the biggest fan. I was originally going to polish this, but then... All of that will need to be polished, so black that goes. But almost there, I'm just gonna to need to make a tab to sit up in here so I can put a ribbon up into there and I'm gonna utilize this one right here. Just put a little tab off here and just put a bolt down through there and that will lock it up nice and tight. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to try and get at least this line made here from there down to there. And then um, I might call that a video after that, after that's painted, of course. So there it is. She's all in, in and secure. It ain't moving nowhere. Still not in love with it, but it's going to work. So tomorrow I'm going to try and get this fitting down here to run into that radiator. I'm going to try and get an A in fitting for this, a bit of line and a welding uh, bung for the bottom of the radiator. And while I'm at it, yeah, right there, I still need to weld that up. But yeah. Stoked. One step closer. All right, we're moving on with this now. I went and picked up some of these today. 
that one's going to go there like so and that's going to feed the radiator and also picked up another one for my uh plenum so that's all good uh, i did go look at making these hoses for the radiator but not now i'll do that later on so i'm just going to give this a wipe down give it a paint up install it get that hooked on and then i think that'll be us that looks a lot better it's all flat black i reckon it looks quite good now what i do need is like a, a sticker or something across there if anyone knows any sticker people can you let me know i wouldn't mind getting quite a few made up but that's done for now i've got my little my little fitting down there i haven't actually got a, a hose for that there to go to there but that's all good i will uh, chase down some of these radiator hoses and i just did a little bit of research last night and you can actually get a i don't know what it is like a relief valve or something like that to actually get rid of the air inside the inside the cooling system so the line that returns back to the radiator which has the temperature switch in it will also have a yeah a relief valve that you can open and close just to let the air out so you won't have an airlock so so at this point in time i'm thinking maybe the next video i'll make a strut brace that comes up from here runs along the back and then ducks underneath this exhaust back to that point and that will also have a stopper to hit onto there possibly that's what i'll do um this wiring don't care uh yeah so that's about the end of this one thanks for watching how the hell am i supposed to get this onto that I reckon we need to cut all through here.